Hey Flight Simmers, I hope everybody's well. Quick tutorial today, uh, quite an important point, and I think 80% of the people I speak to don't do this, so I thought it'd be a really good little tutorial to help people. Weight and balance. Ask yourself the question, each flight you do as a simmer, do you set the weight and balance? If you don't, you'll have really fast taxi speeds. The aircraft will be out of control. You'll take off really quickly. You'll climb really fast. You're not even 500 feet off the ground and you're needing to put the flaps up and you're overspeeding. And all of this is because you're flying, in effect, an empty aircraft, though you think that it's full. Um, you haven't set the, the passenger, you haven't set the center of gravity and your aircraft is all over the place. So what I want to do today is go through a brief tutorial on how to set up the aircraft and then we'll take off and we'll show you exactly what happens when you do it properly. Um, we found this really beneficial lately to set this up properly and the aircraft all of a sudden starts flying properly and when you come in to land it lands properly as well. So let's jump in and I'll get the aircraft set up and bring you back once we're ready to load in that information. See you shortly. Okay so I've configured the aircraft I've put my flight plan in from Simbrief. So what we'll now do is look at the weight and balance. Now, most of you will typically know you'll use the right arrow key to go to the fuel predictions. We're not going to touch this right now. What we're going to do is go to the Microsoft Flight Simulator fuel weight and balance screen, which is here, which you may have seen before. Now, the next thing you're going to need is your flight plan couple of bits of information you're going to need. If we look at here, we're going to see how much fuel we need, which on this particular flight is 5.5 in terms of kilos. We can see that our maximum takeoff weight is 78000, but our estimated is 64214. Zero fuel weight is 5879. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that information now. So we can just lose that for a second. Now, if you look at the bottom, your current takeoff weight is set at 55712. So you're far too light. Hence why you zoom around when you're taxiing like a rally driver and you take off like a rocket. So what we need to do is come to the payload um, slider and drag that till we get to approximately 64,200. Now you will have a center of gravity issue and I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. So let's just move that up. We're at 61, 64, oh, let's try 55. That, that'll do is 64385. Now our central gravity is out. That's because the way Microsoft Flight Simulator does this is just simply equal out all of this. So we're going to take a thousand off our baggage at the front. Let's make that free. And we're going to add that onto our at the back. So we'll make that five. Now our center of gravity is fine. We'll make a note of the center of gravity which is 2185. And we can now, just making sure our fuel is right at 5.5 it is, we can close this. On this screen now, you can double click the top. And it shows now your zero fuel weight is 58.9. And your central gravity is 21.9, which is correct now. And our block fuel is 5.5. We have now got the correct rate and the correct um, central gravity balance on here. Um, and you'll find that the fuel is used properly. You take off properly, you taxi properly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have a look at the performance calculation. 
Now I'll pop a link for this in the description. We're going to select an A320 with CFM in metric. We're going to put our ICAO of our takeoff airport. Today will be Birmingham. I'm going to load in the latest weather. It'll be a flaps one takeoff with the packs on. Anti-ice will be off and the runway is dry. I'm going to put in that takeoff weight which we've mentioned before and also our centre of gravity which was 21.85. We can now see that we are 1.4 up on our stabilisation trim. Runway will be runway 33 and we will hit calculate. We could see that our flex temperature is 61 and our takeoff speeds are 149 across V1, VR, V2. So, going back to our McDo. Okay, so we're now going to load in all of the information from the performance calculator. Now, to speed up the video, I've already done this, but we know that our flex to temp is 61. Our flaps and our trim setting is flaps 1 up with a 1.4 set on our trim wheel and we know our v-speeds were 149 all the way down so that we're set okay that's the performance calculation done the weight and balance done so join me back in just a moment when we're ready to taxi and i'll show you how this thing now taxis compared see you in just a minute Okay, welcome back. So we are been pushed, we're ready to go. And what I'd like to show you now is that the behavior of how the aircraft will taxi now that you've set the weight right. So without further ado, um, we will go parking brake off. And this time, just give it a little ounce of energy to get it moving and then we'll idle down. And what we're interested in today is our ground speed. Now normally you would be struggling to keep this below 30. In terms of this airport your straight line taxi maximum speed is 30, your turning speed is 10 unless you're taxiing on a runway when your limit is 50. But now you'll see we're taxiing really calm, really slowly, we're not racing off and that's because your aircraft is weighted now. It's actually recognizing in the sim that you've got 180 passengers and all their baggage on board. So it's going to behave differently. When we take off, you're gonna find it goes a lot further down the runway before you can lift off, which is realistic. So you join us as we're just taxiing onto runway 33 at Birmingham and we'll just line up. And I think we're ready. So we will just do a rolling start. So we will put the throttle uh, detent into flex now. And you'll see we're flex temperature 61 with SRS runway. But you'll notice it's taken us a little bit more time now to get up to speed. We're normally in the air by now. <laughs> so up to 100 knots. 120. 140 and V1 rotate. Okay, and away goes our gear. And there we go, a really nice takeoff. Which, with the right weight and balance, didn't race down the runway and it all worked perfectly well. So hopefully that's helped you with your weight and balance setting and also your performance setting on how to take off. If you found that useful, please do like the video and also please do subscribe. Apart from that, we will look forward to seeing you on the next. Thank you and take care. See you later. Bye-bye.